The following contest is the Royal Rumble match. The two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at the same time. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all 20 superstars have entered the ring. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the Royal Rumble winner. The Caucasian Four Battle Royal, 20 of the best CAW superstars all around the CAW world here tonight in the Caucasian Four Battle Royal. Introducing the participants first from Concord, California, weighing in at 222 pounds, the Reaper, Evan O'Shea. Evan O'Shea, the very first entrant in the Caucasian Four Battle Royal. We've seen this man just lose to Nate Farron inside a steel cage just not too long ago. Evan O'Shea must be feeling that damage. But he is an entrant here in this Caucasian Four Battle Royal. I have not been told who the participants are. I have just been told that there will be some superstars that have competed over the night in here. There are some superstars who have not been announced for the show, for the show at all tonight. So the Call Vision 4 Battle Royal, you're going to have to stick around. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out if your favorite CAW superstars are in here. WEDF, OPW, Undisputed Wrestling. These companies and more all in the building here tonight. Evan O'Shea representing WEDF, RSW, Undisputed Wrestling. And many more organizations. Drawing that number one entry, Evan O'Shea, who's going to be number two. Evan O'Shea waiting to find out who is second up. And it's Zack Starr! Who drew number two from Bismarck, North Dakota, weighing in at 210 pounds. The one, Zack Superstar. My cousin Zack Starr making his way down to the ring, drawing number two here in this Calvasian Four Battle Royal. Two men from WEDF coming in this match. Both men drawing the worst position you can. Going to have to outlast 19 other superstars to win this matchup. Zack Starr or Evan O'Shea if they are to do so. This would be a good time to remind you all that Danny Jackpot here on commentary. Twitch.tv slash Danny Jackpot CAW always follow me for more CAW action as Evan O'Shea and Zack Starr start off this call vision for Battle Royal Evan O'Shea who was not victorious earlier doesn't want to leave ooh Zack Starr missing a shooting star press right away that was only from the second rope Evan O'Shea bouncing off the ropes with a very unique style nail a clothesline Caucasian 4 Battle Royal could be Evan O'Shea's final chance to win here tonight at Caucasian. Does not want to lead this Caucasian 4 with a loss. As former three-time Nune W Eastern Tag Team Champion Dale Von Deuce makes his way down to the ring at number three. The Canadian Blackleaf, one half of the Hollywood Canadian Connection, one of the top tag teams in CAW today that you probably don't know about. And you should. Zack Starr with a nice series of moves as Evan O'Shea, that cocky Evan O'Shea, put himself in a vulnerable position there. That's just how cocky Evan O'Shea has been. That O'Shea alliance. 
as the OG Space Cowboy, Nick Gemini, coming out at number four, representing NCWL. As Dale Von Deuce grabs out O'Shea, takes him down with a fist. Dale Von Deuce uses an old school, old style. You gotta really, you gotta really appreciate a man that can do that. Not everyone will, but I do. Dale Von Deuce gets done in the ring. Evan O'Shea though, plants him down with a unique sit-out driver. As OPW being representing well here tonight, White Panther number one making his way down to the ring. Nick Gemini trying to eliminate Zack Starr in a corner there. Zack Starr, my cousin in a bad way, makes Nick Gemini eat the elbow. Five men so far in this Caucasian Battle Royal. White Panther, number one, going after Evan O'Shea. Three big chops, four big chops. Nice half dragon snap right there as Ryan Hawaiian makes his way down to the ring. An on sign talent here at Caucasian for Ryan Hawaiian. Most notably, has been has lost to Matt Icorn just recently. Matt Icorn actually took it up with Ryan Hawaiian saying he's being too stereotypical of a Hawaiian. Ryan Hawaiian just embraces his Hawaiian heritage. He says to Matt Icorn, the on Hawaiian Hawaiian. Both men from the 50th state having that problem right now. Zach Starr is giving Ryan Hawaiian his own problem and Extreme Tony is in the building. Extreme Tony, the playmaker, champion winning their world and national championship. Extreme Tony tosses out Evan O'Shea. A CAW icon like Extreme Tony here at Cobb Asian 4 Battle Royal. And Nate Farron just missed his chance to get his hands on Evan O'Shea one last time as he comes out at number eight. Victorious inside his steel cage match earlier was Nate Farron against Evan O'Shea that he had rivalry between those two men. Dale Von Deuce looking to toss out Ryan Hawaiian here. Ryan Hawaiian though, hanging on. Nate Ferry going after Nick Gemini. There is quite a size difference between those two men. Nate Ferry at 6'9". And Extreme Tony with another elimination tosses out Ryan Hawaiian. As Vincent Nicolo, a wrestler who just got his, got in CAW in the last year, not even a full year yet, got to go one on one with Extreme Tony here in the ring, signed to Undisputed Wrestling with a very good record. Nicolo taking down Extreme Tony. Zack Starr looking to eliminate Dale Von Deuce, successfully does so. Nick Gemini. Impressing me right now, picking up Nate Farron with a power bomb. Tosses out Nate Farron in what has to be one of the biggest shockers. Nick Gemini right now is one of the top CAW talents. Has momentum going for him not only in CWL, but also on Disputed Wrestling. As El Fuego from Advanced Wrestling is here. El Fuego who has a heated rivalry for you. L. Lightning Jr. in advanced wrestling. Almost impossible to mention one without the other. Two are, two are so locked in such a heated rivalry, a lifetime rivalry. I like to think El Fuego going after White Panther. Be a hell of a good match between these two men. White Panther, El Fuego is Nick Gemini with a huge elimination. This takes out Extreme Tony, a CAW icon, and Eric Cage coming out right now. wrestles in Undisputed Wrestling, had a very long career in WWE, took many years off in CAW, now here at the Cobb Asian 4 Battle Royal. One of the 
biggest stages Cage has been on recently. Apollo takes down Fuego. I mean, just knocks Fuego with a huge punch. And Cage grabs the Gemini from the back of the neck and just reverse choke slams him. And it looks like White Panther about to get some help in his long time tag team partner, White Panther number two, is coming out now. But this is a battle royal, every man for himself, and the Panthers are immediately going to start wrestling each other, and they're proving it here. Both these men wanting to win the Convasion 4 battle royal. Both these men have won tag team championships in OPW before. White Panther 2 is a very decorated superstar in OPW, has won many championships there in OPW. White Panther number one going after Nick Gemini as the Mad Cow, Alex Cow, making his way down to the ring. White Panther with two huge eliminations right there. Not only eliminates Nick Gemini, but eliminates White Panther number two in less than five seconds. White Panther number one's got some momentum. Let me tell you a little bit about Alex Snow. He wrestled in WEDF DCO at one point as White Panther number one eliminates a third competitor, my cousin Zach Starr. And I love it. Shocked. Mad Cow, Alex Cow, eats a stunner by Vincent Nicolo. Fuego and Panther number one working on the much bigger man Cage, who stands at seven or six foot eleven. Not seven feet, but six foot eleven. I'm almost, almost mistaken right there. He'd possibly be the biggest man in this match, as I don't know who's in this match. You can see the size difference in Cage and almost everybody else in this match. Alex Snow and Vincent Nicolo both working over Cage. As Amir Barnes makes his way down to the ring, the Egyptian submission specialist competed in many death matches. You can see the scars on his body to make his name on the independent Egyptian wrestling scene. Amir Barnes. As Connor James makes his way down to the ring at number 15, Connor James, you're gonna see him compete for the OPW Heavyweight Championship. El Fuego, nice shot to the Alex Snow's head. Cage going for Connor James here. Connor James, a current undisputed wrestling North American champion. Very successful reign, Connor James the top CAW talents today. And if Connor James isn't coming out right now, here comes his longtime tag team partner, Chris Snyder of the industry and NSFW. Connor James and Chris Snyder both coming out, both drawing really lucky numbers as Amir Barnes almost tossed out by Nicolo. Nicolo though, delivers a big shot to Barnes there. I mean, Barnes looking a big shot to Nicolo. Chris Snyder with his headlock. Number three, almost an El Fuego. It's Alex Snow and White Panther. White Panther was a load of momentum earlier. Chris Snyder eliminates Vincent Nicolo. The Brick House, the Alabama Madman. Him and Connor James, former tag team champions. And NAEW. Both men have won multiple championship gold. Also an undisputed wrestling. Connor James. Big elbow to Eric Cage. Alex Snow. Big suplex into a neck breaker on the White Panther number one. A lot of OPW representation in this matchup. A lot of undisputed wrestling representation in this matchup right now. Advanced wrestling to El Fuego has a hell of a Cross face like maneuver, maybe like a pulley choke on the Snyder. Snyder again with these big elbows at El Fuego's ribcage. As the on Hawaiian, Hawaiian Matt Icord, I mentioned him earlier. He is in the building and he is in this matchup. Matt Icord is here and he's going right after Amir Barnes. We are on the WEDF YouTube channel and I bet you. 
Cage and for Battle Royal. Matt Icorn and Cage both working over the weapon of WDF NXT, Biff Andreas. Matt Icorn knows how deadly Biff Andreas is. Been in the ring with him many of times. Both these men, so much history. New WWE. Both these, all three of these men have been in at one point. Matt Icorn looks to do the cage bomb to Matt Icorn. I said Matt Tyson. I mean Cage does the cage bomb to Matt Icorn. I think I said Icorn just power bomb himself there. But I don't want to make a serious situation to a joke as Cage eliminates Matt Icorn. Cage now. Biff Andreas, the final two in this matchup. Cage making a hell of a statement for himself here at Call Vision 4. Biff Andreas though. Drops behind Cage. Both these men tired. Andreas coming in at 19. Cage coming in earlier than that. Andreas, the more well-rested men. Both these two men realize what's at stake here. Cavision for Battle Royal. Cage once again goes for a move. Andreas nails a hell of a chop block. Much smarter athlete with Andreas over a veteran of 10 years in CAW has competed in three different decades of CAW. Biff Andreas has with his CAW career. Cage, big headbutt. Snap mirroring. Cage, I mean Andreas down and then Andreas now with a big shot. Andreas picks up Cage. Tries to toss him out, but Cage able to hang on. And Biff Andreas going for the wave of the future on Cage. Nails it. William Regal's personal weapon at WEDF and NXT takes out Cage. Tosses him over the top rope. Andreas wins the Caucasian 4 Battle Royal. Here is your winner, the ladies' man. <laughs> My best friend, Biff Andreas. Victorious here at Cobb Asian 4. 2022 might be the year that the wave of the future finally hits. see Evan O'Shea, Nate Farron, one-on-one -on -one inside a steel cage, a match that has been months in the making. These two faced off at the very last Cavasian when Evan O'Shea was able to defeat Nate Farron. Those two were able to win the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team Championship since then. Evan O'Shea would not show up for a title defense, leaving Nate Farron high and dry for the Undisputed Wrestling Tag Team titles. And then since then, Evan O'Shea has not shown up in Undisputed the Wrestling. The is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring from Concord, California. Weighing in at 222 pounds, the Reaper, Evan Evan O'Shea completely changing who he is here. No longer for the fans, all about himself, all about his family. Evan O'Shea says he was out with COVID at a point, which made him unable to confront Nate Farron. Weeks had passed, a month had passed. Nate Farron was still waiting for Evan O'Shea to show up. It wasn't until the Cavasian of Four event where a contract was made. Evan O'Shea finally agreed to put his name on the contract. Did not want to miss an event of this magnitude. Evan O'Shea is now going to be locked up inside a steel cage with his former best friend, a former tag team champion partner of his, Nate Farron. 
a man he defeated at Carvation 3. Evan O'Shea has been making Nate Farron wait for this day for a very long time. Evan O'Shea believes with his victory over Nate Farron at the last Carvation, he doesn't even have to prove it to Farron that he's better to him. And his opponent from New York, weighing in at 334 pounds, Nate Freeman. He is the genuine ass kicker, everybody. He is Nate Farron. Nate Farron is here. He's a former NAEW World Heavyweight Champion, one of the longest reigns in Wrestling Heaven's Heavyweight Championship history. Nate Farron competes in CAW organizations all over the world. He has been waiting for this day to get his hands on Evan O'Shea. These fans are excited. They have been waiting for this matchup since the moment Evan O'Shea just totally left Nate Farron high and dry. Evan O'Shea, Nate Farron, the cage is lowered. The match is official. This match is weeks, months in the making. Nate Farron has been waiting to get his hands on Evan O'Shea, and it is officially happening here. Caucasian 4. Nate Farron. Big shot to the back ahead of Evan O'Shea, who Evan O'Shea went for a big move there. Nate Farron with a big kick. You're gonna see a big height advantage here between, a big height difference between these two men. Nate Farron, a whole foot taller than Evan O'Shea almost. At Call Evasion 3, Evan O'Shea picked up a huge victory over Nate Farron. That's when I believe Evan O'Shea's attitude started changing against his own best friend. He started believing he was better. Pinfalls in this match, Evan O'Shea only gets one. This match continues. Now, this is the first time Nate Farron has seen Evan O'Shea since what I believe I've been told was the last time these two men successfully defended the tag team titles together. This is the first time Nate Farron has seen Evan O'Shea since then, and it ain't good for him right now as he eats a giant boot to the face. Evan O'Shea now trying to quickly escape the steel cage here at Cavasian 4. Spotlights are on both these men, and Evan O'Shea trying to get out of the ring as quick as possible, like he's been doing to Nate Farron, in my opinion. If you want my honest opinion, I've been running, trying to avoid Nate Farron. Nate Farron now trying to escape this cage. And I'm surprised. He's been waiting to get his hands on Evan O'Shea. And it gave Evan O'Shea a chance to take advantage of Nate Farron. Nate Farron, like a giant redwood tree in the forest, goes crashing down. Evan O'Shea, top rope, elbow drop, and Nate Farron rolls out of the way. Very smart. Evan O'Shea using his quickness, big kick to Farron. And Evan O'Shea, just no respect from these fans, no respect from Nate Farron, no respect shown towards Nate Farron either. These two men, hard to believe, former best friends. Oh my God, and again, like I said, just pulling apart on his face, breaking his face. Hard to believe these two men were best friends at one point. Evan O'Shea now, believing the damage is done, trying to get out of the steel cage. Nate Farron here, undisputed wrestling. Some of the greatest CAW talents in the world. Nate Farron makes Evan O'Shea go flying. Nate Farron tells the referee to open that cage door, possibly believing that he was gonna try to escape right there, and maybe tell the referee to lock it even worse. I think he told the referee to lock it. Evan O'Shea, though, was able to take advantage right there. Knocks down Farron, trying to get out of this cage once again. Nate Farron, see the difference between the two men right now is Nate Farron wants to be locked in this cage with Evan O'Shea, and Evan O'Shea does not want to be locked in the steel cage with Nate Farron. And Evan O'Shea trying to get out, trying to get out of the steel cage. Nate Farron, though, trying to get to the top here. Not gonna let Evan O'Shea, oh, just head first. Evan O'Shea was so close to getting out of there there. Oh, Evan O'Shea returning the favor, and he almost falls back using all of his momentum. Big shot by Farron, though. These two men, 15 feet in the air right now. Nate Farron. 
there and wait. What's he got planned for Evan O'Shea? He goes to the top. They burn! Oh, he crashes and burns! Risk. Evan O'Shea now has a chance to come back here. Evan O'Shea trying to escape the steel cage. Nate Barron did not want this match to end. Put his body on the line. The biggest flying crossbody I've ever seen. O'Shea and just attacking him right now. Nate Farron getting some much wanted revenge on Evan O'Shea locked inside the steel cage with a former best friend. A man who left him hung up and dry. The Undisputed Tag Team Championships of Undisputed Wrestling are what these two men held at one point together as best friends until Evan O'Shea decided with that Call of Asian 3 victory that he was better than Nate Farron. And Nate Farron trying to escape this shit cage. Evan O'Shea back up to his feet. Going after Nate Farron. Nate Farron crashes and falls. Evan O'Shea now. Very smart. Again, Evan O'Shea defeated Nate Farron at Call Vision 3. Believes he's the much better athlete. That's when this whole thing started, the problem between these two best friends of over a decade. And you can see Evan O'Shea now going right after the arm of Nate Farron, the arm that he uses to choke slam people with, that he uses to drive people through the mat with almost. Nate Farron wants to drive Evan O'Shea through the mat. He wanted the steel cage match. It took a big event like Cobb-Asian 4, as Nate Farron goes for a cover, only gets one. It took a big event like Call Vision 4 for Evan O'Shea to finally come out of the woodworks. He's been avoiding Nate Farron to finally come out for this matchup. And Nate Farron's just rubbing his face in the mat. Like, a, like you would do to a puppy that you're mad at. Nate Farron mad at his former best friend. Nate Farron going to the top rope. Elbow drop. Oh my God. Six foot nine off the top rope. Nate Farron. Nate Farron now going for these combination of butterfly lock suplexes and doing a butterfly lock DDT. Really taking the fight to O'Shea here. Goes for a cover, Nate Farron. And Evan O'Shea just kicks out. Nate Farron does not like that one. Nate Farron just double choke slam to Evan O'Shea. And Nate Farron believes it's it. He's gonna win this match. He needs to look behind him though, because Evan O'Shea is back up to his feet. Surprised Nate Farron was gonna call it an end there. Nate Farron though kicks O'Shea once again now. Nate Farron trying to get out of this cage. Evan O'Shea grabs Farron. 
Oh my god, has him on his shoulders and drives him down with the electric chair. Huge move by Evan O'Shea. Probably could not get Nate Farron up in that position any other way. Evan O'Shea, the veteran now, with this Indian Deathlock applied. This variation of an Indian Deathlock. Nate Farron's knees really hurt him here. You can see Nate Farron's knees are really giving it in here. Evan O'Shea trying to get out of this cage. Nate Farron, though, back up to his feet. Nate Farron eats a kick to the face. Evan O'Shea desperate to get out of this cage. No way, he turns around and double axe handles Nate Farron. Evan O'Shea now on the offense. Evan O'Shea, he, he came for a fight, it looks like, because Nate Farron is making him give one. Nate Farron, big knee to the face of Evan O'Shea. These two men, former best friends, can't believe this is what it's came to. Ow, and right off. Can't believe Evan O'Shea. Not only after a choke slam, a bicycle kick has somehow kicked out. Farron believing now's the time to win. Trying to escape this steel cage. Evan O'Shea though, somehow able to cut Nate Farron off. Nate Farron though kicks Evan O'Shea down. Nate Farron is gonna escape this steel cage. Evan O'Shea. Right in Nate Farron's face! And Nate Farron telling O'Shea, I'm a much better man than you are! Farron escapes! Evan O'Shea can't believe it! Nate Farron beats Evan O'Shea! Gets some much needed revenge here! here is and call up Agent Nate 4! Freeman. Four on disputed wrestling portion start the right now. The contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the undisputed women's world championship. We had an all women's special at undisputed wrestling. The females had every match on the show. It was a very special event. Alexandria Marie in the main event took on Chantal Queen for the Women's World Championship, a match that would end by count out, a double count out, a draw. That's why Alexandria Marie was so desperate to put her hair on the line for this championship matchup that if Alexandria Marie was to lose this match, she is gonna get her head shaved in the back and have to make her entrance here later tonight without that beautiful head of hair she has on her head right now because it will be shaved off. Alexandra Marie, Blacklist CAW superstar, XGWL superstar also looking to become the women's world champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. Going against a lady that she has already faced off. As I mentioned, these both these ladies battled to a double count out in the main event, competing for this Women's World Championship on an all woman special for Undisputed Wrestling. Here they are now, Call Vision 4, Hair versus Championship. Chantel Queen, the champion. Alexandra Marie, the hair and the challenger. Chantal Queen, the Women's World Champion, as she turns this arena on into a dance floor. Chantel Queen, she is loud and proud. She is a very big part of the community. She doesn't even tell you which community, because you all already know. As Chantel Queen, proud of that fact. Chantel Queen, also proud that she is the Women's World Champion here in Undisputed Wrestling. And like I said, the talent of Chantel Queen is off the charts, it's off the hook. Chantel Queen, Women's World Champion for a reason. 
at Cavasian 3, we've seen the Women's World Championship on the line when Gail Anderson defeated Tammy for to retain that championship. Chantel Queen getting a chance to do what from Los Angeles, California, Alexia Marie. Chantel Queen getting a chance to do what Gail Anderson did before her. And introducing the champion from Northridge, California. She's the the queen, Shane. Chantel Queen was able to defeat Gail Anderson for that Women's World Championship in one of the most impressive the women's reigns I've ever seen a woman have with a world's heavyweight title. Chantel Queen's dream came true that night. The dream continues. Will Alexandra Marie stop the dream? Will she be the nightmare? The bell has rung. Alexandra Marie's hair is on the line. Chantel's Queen's title's on the line. Chantel Queen goes right after Alexandra Marie. And this match at Caucasian 4 for the Women's World Championship is officially started. And Chantel Queen, just a house of fire to start off this match. Three big power moves on Alexandra Marie. Four, I should say. Big shot to the knee by Chantel Queen. To the face. And a big spinning backhand by Chantel Queen just takes Alexandra Marie right off her feet. Chantel Queen might not have hit all of it, but that was one of her signature maneuvers. And Alexandra Marie possibly rolled out of the way smartly there. Oh, and Chantel Queen just sends her down, spine first, outside of the ring. Referee following these two ladies because the falls count anywhere in this matchup. Women's World Championship is on the line. Spinning back fist by Chantel Queen. Once again, she is bringing the fight to Alexandra Marie here tonight. Rolling her up now. Chantel Queen believes she has Alexandra Marie beat. Chantel Queen with a cover only gets two, though. Chantel Queen. Really hurting Alexandra Marie in the opening part of this matchup. This falls count anywhere's match. You can see these ladies continuing where they left off. Right on the outside of the ring. Chantel Queen, the power right there. Chantel Queen. Going for some kind of powerful maneuver once again. Alexandra Marie fighting out of it, and she has to. And then grabbing that afro of Chantel Queen and just smacking her head down. The wild hair of Chantel Queen might have cost her right there. Goes for a cover. Alexandra Marie believes she had it. Referee out of place there. Marie thought she had the match won. She needs to stay on top of Chantel Queen. She's making a mistake right now. Sends Chantel Queen flying into the barricade. Crashing into the barricade, I should say. And then just with the punches going right after Marie. I'm going after Queen as Marie. Alexandra Marie has Chantel Queen now in a bad way. Getting back in the ring is, is Alexandra Marie. Chantel Queen getting up to her feet. Alexandra Marie deciding to stay on her woman here. And a big drop kick right to the knee. And Alexandra Marie now has Chantel Queen reeling here. Very smart to attack the knees of Chantel Queen, I would think. Being a veteran myself in the CAW organization, an icon almost. I like to call myself an icon. Alexandra Marie has Chantel Queen in a bad way in this Women's World Championship match. Her hair is on the line. Alexandra Marie knows that. Chantel Queen, though, right up after a bulldog. You're not eating Alexandra Marie on the outside of the ring. Chantel Queen now going for some kind of big spinning backhand, maybe. But Alexandra Marie smacks it towards the attempt. Very smart by Chantel Queen. And Chantel Queen, oh, a Libya, a labia lock. As Chantel Queen calls that a labia lock on the Alexandra Marie right there. Anything's legal in this matchup, I guess. Alexandra Marie definitely feeling the effects of that. That was a little violent. Chantel Queen now looking for the implant buster. Nails it. Chantel Queen looking to retain her Women's World Championship. That was on the outside of the ring. This has got to be it. And Alexandra Marie's hair is on the line, and she knows it. She refuses to give up right there. Her hair is on the line. Her good looks mean so much to her. 
kicks out of that huge implant buster. Now it's on the outside of the ring. Chantal Queen going for some kind of maneuver. Alexandra Marie reverses. Nice reverse DDT. Alexandra Marie with a nice big kick to the gut now. Chantal Queen able to toss Marie back in the ring. Chantel Queen now, big back suplex to Marie. Chantel Queen going to the outside of the ring here. I don't know what she has planned. Goes back in and attacks Marie. Chantel Queen goes for a giant shot, but Alexandra Marie once again able to duck and then nails a huge hurricane Rana from the side right there. Alexandra Marie, belly to back suplex on the Chantel Queen. That was impressive. Marie going for a cover. Queen is down. Alexandra Marie looking to keep her hair, looking to win the championship. Only gets a deep two count. Marie though, calling for the end against Alexandra, against Chantel Queen. Alexandra Marie. Oh, Chantel Queen thwarts off whatever attempt she was going for there. Marie running crossbody takes down Chantel Queen. Grabbing her head and just whipping it against the ring mat now. Marie getting vicious. Big kick to the face takes down Chantel Queen. Marie. Anything goes in this Falls Count Anywhere match. Alexandra Marie grabs a kendo stick. And she's going to town on Chantel Queen, doing whatever it takes to win this Women's World Championship. Alexandra Marie getting vicious here. But Chantel Queen, sunset flip. This is gonna be it, Chantel Queen. And Marie just kicks out in time. Chantel Queen. She goes for the kendo stick, but Marie knocks her down. Alexandra Marie could be calling for the end here. Chantel Queen is down. Alexandra Marie. Big overhead pump handle. Second time in this matchup. Marie looking to become women's world champion. Alexandra Marie and Chantel Queen once again kicks out. Alexandra Marie cannot believe it. I'm sorry. Belly to back suplex, Alexandra Marie, Chantel Queen down in the ring. Alexandra Marie wins the Women's World Championship here tonight at Call Asian 4. The belly to back suplex. And Alexandra Marie knocks off Chantel Queen. Wins the Women's World Championship here. Here is your winner, and still, Alexia Marie. Alexandra Marie now on top of the women's division here in Undisputed Wrestling. She is now the women's world champion. Alexandra Marie fights hard, and she earns this women's world championship here.